Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. So we all know the extremely valuable asset that is the NBA draft pick, especially when it comes to the NBA draft lottery. When your team gets that top pick, there are so many options you can have with one of those top picks. Have it be, you know, try to draft a franchise player, you know, try to trade away for some younger players, maybe trade it for a veteran out there to lead your franchise. So many different options out there, guys. But what if every single NBA team was forced to trade away their 2020 NBA draft pick? Guys, for today's video, we are going to do just that thing out there. So on the screen in front of you, you guys see a random number generator. We are going to go through all 30 NBA first round picks and we are going to randomly trade them away. So what's going to happen is I'm going to put the trade to the trade finder and then the random number generator is going to select the number slash the trade that we have to do. So keep in mind, there will be some cases where it's just like, you know, it's like, okay, I'll trade you this first round pick for the 2022 20, second round pick or something stupid like that. Um, we are doing player only trades. So if it lands on a team that's just a draft pick, what I get to do is I get to go either left or right and pick the first player trade that pops up. It'll make more sense as we go through the video right here. But before we get going on today's video, if you guys like different challenges like that, if you don't mind dropping a like on this video, guys, would be greatly, greatly appreciated. 1,000 likes is always the goal. Then, of course, man, if you are new to the channel, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, guys. Thank you all so much for that. So... We are starting because we, 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 we want to build the suspense in this video, guys. We're going to start with the 30th pick and work our way all the way up to the first pick, guys. It's going to be a very long video because then we're going to do the NBA draft. We're going to simulate a season, all that good stuff out there, man. You know, we cover it all here on Crispy Flakes, man. We cover it all. Okay, so we got the Boston Celtics have the 30th pick in the draft. So we're going to go to the trade finder and we are going to go to the... Oh, damn, they got three first round picks. Okay, so I think I'm going to do it just one at a time, though, man. Just because, like, you know, I guess we could package them all together. But I think we're going to do it one at a time. Keep it consistent throughout the video. So, yes, yeah, so we have the 30th pick here in the draft, man. And the random number generator says we have to do trade with trade uh, team number eight. So, team number eight is going to be that right there. So, we can go as far as we want until we actually see a player. And, uh, okay, not, not a single player is being listed right here, man. So, what we're going to do is we will actually toss in just like a guy just to add like some salary to it i think that's probably the way to go with this all right um yeah i was expecting some sort of player to pop up so we can go left or right so we got that guy <laughs> i don't really play he was the rookie who played last for the clippers can i say his name though so we can go with him or we can go with joe ingles because that's the farthest player to the right from number eight or the first player i should say so no doubt we are going to go joe ingles on the boston celtics i mean that's actually a pretty good fit if you ask me man for the free 30th pick and joe ingles out of it like that's definitely a big time w okay next up we have the 29th pick that is going to be to the toronto raptors uh once we get to like the lottery picks i don't think we'll have to, like toss some players or anything like that but like i said man like those late first round picks sometimes it's not really worth a player in a lot of these cases so we're going to go back to the trade finder and here we go, 29th pick, and we got trade number eight again. Okay, what is the chances of that, man? Um, so we got trade number eight, and once again, we're probably going to toss in another player to make this work. So let's go ahead and go with, uh, I guess, Matt Thomas, 76 overall player, right? So, all right, so we go back to trade number eight, and it's Bruno Fernando. That's what we have to go with. Bruno Fernando going to the Toronto Raptors. Um, probably doesn't need him, like all that much here it's gonna be interesting though man because i'm not actually like doing like the off season like i'm not going to go and do a rebuild for all 30 teams here so it's gonna be curious to see like which of these players stick around and what you know how these guys are gonna be affected based off free agency and stuff like that going into the season so yeah bruno fernando welcome to the team all right next up we have the 28th pick which is the los angeles lakers all right all right here we go here we go lakers lakers laker nation um, and I think for this one, we're going to go ahead and probably just toss in a player. I'm going to assume it probably needs one right here. So uh, let's go ahead and just toss in. Uh, let's go with like Marky Moore, 7 8 overall. And he's okay. Wait, we got to do it with a player that actually will. Uh, do they not have anybody signed to like multi year contracts? Quinn Cook. There we go. Quinn Cook. And the team is going to be a team. Wait, I guess why am I on that? Yeah, okay. It wants to be 23. 23 for LeBron James, right? Um, yeah, I don't got to go to propose trade. Got to go trade finders. So, all right, Cook with the 28th pick. And it's going to be trade number 23. Uh, and by the way, if 29 teams do not pop up, uh, I'm just going to keep on doing a random number until one of the numbers do pop up. So if that makes sense to you. And it's going to be, they could do for the 11th pick. Okay, so that's obviously not one. So we can go with Bruno from the Rockets right there, Bruno Mars. Or we can go with Frank Kaminsky. Um, honestly speaking, I think uh, Frank Kaminsky would probably be a better fit. Just like a better, th well, I don't really know much about Bruno. I remember he was, he was on like the Raptors. And people was like, he was always two years away from being two years away. Um, 
Not a bad little scoring player, actually. 6'9". You know what? Let's go with Bruno Mars, guys. Welcome to the team. Wait. Yeah, we got the first round pick being traded away. There we go. All right, next up, we do have the 27th pick in the draft, which is the New York Knicks. The New York Knicks, guys. I don't know why I'm going this way. Um, but here we are. It's going to be like a freaking hour video at this point, man. It's all good, though. So, what all you got going on today, man? Watch some playoff basketball, probably, right? Sorry, watch this during halftime. We, halftime will blow right by at that point. Um, so, we got the Knicks and Trade Finder. We got the 27th pick right there. And uh, let's see at this point, there's like a player will get involved. Okay, so there's three results. So, it's going to be number three. All right, we're going to have to toss in a player. Um, let's toss in Frank Nilakina. Finally off the team right here, guys. And we'll go back to trade number three at some point. And it's going to be... The fourth pick, so I said we're not doing any picks at all, although that's a fantastic trade for the Knicks if you ask me. So we can do either Dante DiVincenzo, George Hill, or we can do Romeo Langford and the 14th pick in the draft. Okay, I think at that point, guys, it's no doubt Dante DiVincenzo and George Hill to the team. Oh, that is a fantastic trade for the Knicks. I mean, yeah, that's like two great guards that could both start on this team right now. There we go, man. Welcome to the team for the 27th pick and Frank Nilakina. Um, next up, we do have the Boston Celtics. So the Celtics have the 26th pick in this case. I keep on going the opposite direction literally every time, man. I think I'll stop tossing in players once uh, once we hit the lottery because at that point, I don't think we'll really need to. Okay, so we got to go with the 26th pick and we're going to toss in Robert Williams. See what this gets us in this case. And uh, we got to generate ourselves a number. It's going to be at number four out there, man. Number four. And that is going to be Jetty Osman in the 22nd second round pick. Um, okay, interesting. I think that's, I don't know. I mean, that's an interesting trade, I suppose. Nothing crazy, nothing groundbreaking, but it's the 27th pick. Usually isn't. All right, next up we have the OKC Thunder. The Thunder do have the 25th, 20, 25th pick here in the draft. Uh, so it is going to be... We're going to toss in Terrence Ferguson. Maybe they get themselves some uh, their dream small forward out there, right? It's going to be trade number nine. Trade number nine, guys. Okay. And trade number nine is going to be Andre Iguodala in a 2022 first round pick. So, I mean, honestly, like, here, we'll, we'll do this real quick here for the OKC Thunder while we're on it, man. While we're on him real quick here, we will go and put, uh, I mean, I'm going to do all the rotations and everything eventually anyway, but there we go. 7-9 overall, Andre Iguodala for a season. That's actually kind of interesting if you really do think about it, man. Okay, next up, we have the 24th pick, which goes to the Milwaukee Bucks. I cannot wait. To, I'm going backwards again. Then I went the other way. Do not go backwards. And, man, okay, okay, we got the Bucks. We got the Bucks. Uh, 24th pick in the draft. And, wait, wrong thing. 24th pick. Toss in a player. We'll toss in Ursan Ilya Silva. They already got Frank Nilakina on the team. And it's going to be trade at number 21, assuming there is 21 trades available. And this is going to be a four. Bruno Fernando, man, switching teams left and right, man. Again, pass round can join, baby. Okay, yeah, Bruno Fernando for Ursan Ilyasova. Um, okay, fine, I guess. Not much to say about it. Moving on, guys, to the 23rd pick, which is the Utah Jazz. The Utah Jazz. Okay, once you get that 23rd pick, I just feel like, okay, man, like this is the place to be. Not really. Okay, 23rd pick, and we'll toss in Tony Bradley, and this is going to be for trade number 20. Let's get it. Trade number 20 is going to be with the Detroit Pistons. So we get Tony Bradley, my favorite team. You guys get, uh, yep, he's a Euro stash. My apologies, guys. You guys get a Euro stash. Okay, next up, we have the Denver Nuggets. If I knew my alphabet, I would know which way to go. Here we go, Denver Nuggets. And this is for the 22nd pick. We'll also toss in Gary Harris, I guess, at this point. Man, some not overall player. Let's go to the trade generator, and it's going to be trade number 15, guys. So trade number 15 is going to be for Terrence Ross. You know what? That is actually a great trade for, I would actually say for both sides. Um, great score in Terrence Ross, and I mean, you know, Gary Harris and a draft pick to the Magic. Like, that's not too bad right there, guys. I like it for both sides. There we go. All right, next we got the 21st pick, which is uh, the process, Philadelphia 76ers. So who is going to join the process and hopefully, you know, do some nice things for this team and help them just get back on the right track eventually, hopefully. And uh, let's see if at this point, man, if, like just like players are being offered up. Uh, nope, looks like we still need to do uh, players. Okay, so we will toss in. Let's go with uh, Mike Scott. Mike Scott will be the player. And this is going to be for trade number two. Trade number two is going to be Daniel Gafford. There we go, guys. Not a bad trade for uh, the 76ers. Gafford's actually pretty damn solid out there. All right, let me move up my list right here. 
So next up, we got the 20th pick, which is to the Miami Heat. I'm very interested to see how this uh, draft is actually going to turn out to like see like what players go where. But uh, yes, we got the 20th pick and we're going to toss in, um, I guess we'll go with KZ Opala because I don't really want to talk. I don't really want to go with like a big time core piece. I mean, in some cases I did, but that's just how it's going to be. Okay. Yo, they just want draft picks. They, they, they're like, they, you don't get none of our players, man. Okay, 26 pick. That is going to be Nas Reed and a second round pick. Okay, second round picks are fine. Pretty basic trade. I mean, Nas Reed actually reminds me a little bit of Bam, believe it or not. Um, he's just he's one of those guys that just has like that gracefulness, you know, man, like on the perimeter for a big guy. Okay, uh, next up, we got the Brooklyn Nets. Your Brooklyn Nets. Somebody's Brooklyn Nets. Probably the team owner's Brooklyn Nets, if we want to be honest right here. Okay, and this is going to be the 19th pick, and we're going to toss in uh, Taurin Prince. See if they get themselves their dream of power forward. That's going to be for the 25th pick in the draft, or 25th pick uh, trade, I should say. It's going to be Jalen Noel and a 2023 first round pick. And we got Taurin Prince going over there. That's actually not a bad fit playing alongside Cat. I actually kind of like that quite a bit, so we can play some defense for him, right? Um, next, we got the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, so we're starting to get into the nitty-gritty of the trades. 18th pick. Toss in Dorian Finney Smith. I mean, no, we got we gotta go with Justin Jackson. Dorian Finney Smith is a damn starter. We can't just trade him away like that. And this is gonna be for trade at number two. So this is to the Milwaukee Bucks for Frank Nilakina. Nilakina on the Mavericks. Defensively, man, like coming alongside Luka Doncic, I could actually see that working out pretty nicely. I like it. I like the trade for both sides. There we go, man. There we go. Next up, we have the Minnesota Timberwolves again, as they do have two first round draft picks, I believe. Or was it three? I think it's two. Uh, so here we go, man. Trade finder. We got the 17th pick. We're going to toss in Jake Layman. Lame man. And it's going to be for trade number 21. And that is going to be to the Detroit Pistons. So um, we actually cannot do this trade because it's for a first round pick, right? So we cannot do this trade. I might have already screwed up by doing this. It's all good, man. We're not going to worry about it. You know what? 23rd pick is already passed. We'll do the trade. No, because then the Pistons got to like re pick later on. Okay, yeah. Uh, so we can go with Josh Hart or we can go with Ursan Ilyasova, but it's also a first round pick. So we skip it by default. So Daniel house. All right. Daniel house will be the selection right here, guys. I don't know, man. I'm making this shit up as I go, baby. Like, you know how, okay. Sorry. Uh, we got the, uh, Portland trailblazer. Sorry. My mind just completely shut down there for a second. Okay. So we got the 16th pick and we're going to go with, uh, Trevor Ariza, man, Trevor Ariza. And this is going to be for trade number 17. I feel like we get like the same numbers every single time, but maybe not. Um, hey, not bad. Monte Morris be a great backup point guard for the Trailblazers. And then Trevor Ariza gives them a nice wing player. Sure, man. There we have it. There we have it. Okay, next we have the Orlando Magic. Then we actually get into the lottery picks. So that should be pretty interesting. Um, yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Have you liked the trade that your team has done so far? Or are you just kind of like, okay, like not nothing too crazy has happened yet. We're also going to toss it out for Minu. And this is going to be for trade number 10. Trade number 10. Let's get it. And this is going to be for Malik Monk. Okay, let's all score an option for the Magic over there. And then, you know, a guy and a draft pick for the Charlotte Hornets. Can't go wrong with that. Alrighty. So now we actually get to the lottery, guys. We get to the lottery. So we got the Boston Celtics who do have the Memphis Grizzlies 14th pick here in the draft. At this point, we are just going to do draft picks. And not toss in any other big time deciding factors. So it's going to be, be for trade number 21. And uh, let's see what we got here, man. Okay, might actually be a case where we actually do have to toss in a player. Uh, no, we actually got a player popping up. So we got Jalen Brunson. Okay, so it's going to be for Jalen Brunson. Because like I said, the first player to pop up is the trade. We got to do by default. But they also got to give up Joe Ingles. Damn, man. Not great. Not great. Okay, uh, next we got the uh, Pelicans. Of course, the Pelicans did not make the playoffs. Kind of choked there in the bubble. Well, they did choke. Not kind of. They actually did really choke. Uh, but this is going to be for the 13th pick here in the draft here, man. Let's generate it. Number 19. And trade number 19. Who's it going to be? 2K doesn't want to tell us, man. Them 2K servers, you know how they are, man. Okay, trade number 19 is going to be for... I apologize. You get Edmund Summer. He's probably, he's actually not a bad player. He's play I remember like I watched the Pacers game and he had like four steals in a row. It was It was actually pretty damn amazing to watch. It was pretty amazing to watch. Okay, next we do have the Sacramento Kings with the uh, 12th pick here in the draft. Okay, okay. Sacramento Kings, 12th pick. Let's get it. This is going to be for trade at number 16. Trade number 16 here, man. All right. 
What do we got? What do we got? Come on, 2K. You like to take a sweet ass time sometimes, don't you? Okay, so, uh, trade number 16. This is going to be for Karis LeVert. There we go. Y'all, it's starting to get a little juicy here, man. It's starting to get a little juicy now. Okay, originally I was just gonna do this just like just for the lottery. I knew like the uh first like non-lottery picks were not gonna be very exciting, but here we go, main cars the like that's a big time game changer right there. But I was like, you know what? I don't want to leave out all the teams. So, although I know there's uh, some team out there that doesn't actually have a first round pick, so they are officially actually left out. I do apologize to that franchise. All right, next we got the San Antonio Spurs, who is gonna team up with Lamarcus Aldridge and the guys out there and uh bring this team back to some relevancy. Well, we're gonna find out for that 11th pick, man. It should be pretty decent out there. Okay, 29th pick is what it's going to be for. So that should be like the Washington Wizards. Um, okay, so we said no draft picks. So that means we go to the right so they can get either Josh Richardson or we could do Alan Samuelitic. Okay, it's going to be Josh Richardson, guys. You guys get Josh Richardson on your team. Not bad. He did have like a 40-point game. Or it was like 37-point game or something like that for the 76ers. But yeah, he played really bad against the Celtics. Okay, next we do have the Phoenix Suns who, of course, went 8-0 and in the bubble, guys. So, uh, who is going to join this future dynasty, man? I said dynasty. I said it. Hopefully. Well, we're going to find out. Hopefully, it's a big-name player, guys. Ooh, trade number one. So, it's going to be for maybe Ben Simmons? No, he ain't worth, no, it's worth more than that. Matisse Thibel. It's not bad. It's, it's Matisse Thibel. We all know about him. He's a good defensive player. All right. Next, we do have the Washington Wizards, who uh, do have the... Ninth pick here in the draft. Who's going to team up with John Wall and Bradley Beal? It's going to be trade number 22. All right. Trade number 22 is going to be for Norman. Normal. I wasn't normal. <laughs> Norman Powell, guys. Norman Powell. Um, Great trade. Norman Powell was really good for the uh, Toronto Raptors this season. I actually think they need a small forward on team anyway. So it should be an instant starter on that team. All right. We got the New York Knicks with the eighth pick in the draft. Eighth pick in the draft. And this is going to be for... Well, not Julius Randle. Okay, eighth pick in the draft. Let's generate it for the fifth team, guys. Fifth trade available. That should be like the Cleveland Cavaliers, a team like that. And it's going to be for Romeo Langford. I mean, the potential, like potentially Romeo Langford would be a great player. Potentially, potentially. Okay, uh, next we got my Detroit Pistons. Please, man, give us something good out there. Give us something good out there, man. Please. We need it. We need it. Let's generate it. It's going to be the eighth pick in the draft. Or the eighth trade. I've made that mistake like 20 billion times. And it's going to be for Kevin Herter. You know what? I'm cool with it. I mean, he can like shoot the basketball. So that's something, I suppose. That's something. Next up, we do have the Atlanta Hawks with the sixth pick here in the draft. Okay, okay. And keep in mind, like all these like things are going to be like, like all these teams are going to be drafting players after. So like this is not even like the end of the video. Um, They got the... Oh, I guess technically I could not do that because they have that. Okay. Wait. No, because, yeah, they just trade for the seventh pick. Okay, yeah, it's fine. I don't know why I'm getting confused here. Okay, no, it was the sixth pick here in the draft. That's what they have. Um, and that's going to be for... So, that actually works out perfectly for them because they get the seventh pick and they get to trade their sixth pick for a player. So, yeah, that worked out perfectly for them, man. Um, it's going to be trade at number 14. And it's going to be for Aaron Gordon. Okay. Uh, could probably be the starting small forward, you know, play with John Collins, Trey Young. And they get two... And they still got a, a seventh round pick or a seventh pick in the draft. So, that's nice for them. All right, uh, next we have the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland Cavaliers, fifth pick here right here, man. And it's going to be for trade number eight. Trade number eight for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And this is going to be for Tyler Hero. Yo, that's a big time W for them. And big time W. There we go, man. All right, next we got to the Chicago Bulls. And they have the uh, fourth pick right here. Let's go ahead and generate it. All right, it's going to be for trade number 27. And that's going to be for Nurkic. Don't really need Nurkic, but Nurkic is like a beast in this game. Like, you guys just got yourself a hell of a player for the fourth pick in the draft, like according to 2K standards. All right, uh, next we do have uh, the Charlotte Hornets. That's right, they do have the third pick. The Charlotte Hornets. Here we go. What's it going to be for? It's going to be for trade number 19. It's going to be, man. Okay, 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 okay. Trade number 19 is for Drew Holiday. Okay, I mean, I'd rather have the third pick than Drew Holiday at this point. Not going to lie, but hey, he'll help him this season, right? All right, next we got to the Golden State Warriors. So who is going to team up with, you know, their super team they got going on there already? It's going to be for the 28th pick, which in theory would actually be like them normally. Okay, uh, here we go. Second pick, guys. Second pick for the 28th. Yo, I was the number one, man. Could have been Joel Embiid. 
So 29 is that. 28 is... Oh, we cannot do draft picks. We cannot do draft picks. So it, we can either do Troy Brown Jr. and Norman Powell... Or Jared Culver or Casey Apollo. You know what, man? That's lame as hell. We're, we're, I'm repicking, guys. I'm repicking it, man. That's lame as hell, man. Uh, we're going to do the 23rd pick. Okay, that's going to be for Robert Covington. Okay, that's more fun. I know I cheated for the Warriors. They don't need it. But, uh, yeah, I didn't want to do a boring-ass trade, man. I'm going to do one a boring ass trade. We're going to do the same thing for the T-Wolves right here, man. We don't want no boring-ass trade. So, the Timberwolves, who have the number one pick in the draft, is going to be for pick number 15. That could be like the Lakers. That could, in theory, be the Lakers, guys. Here we go. Pick number 15 is going to be two. Oh, it's not the Lakers. But if 15 is a draft pick, we can go back to LeBron James. Let's get it. And Markel Folds and Malik Monk. Okay, man. Or you know what? It's a lame-ass trade. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it, man. It's going to be trade number 24. I'll trade number 24. And uh, DeJounte Murray, lame-ass trade. Come on, why is something exciting, man? Come on. We want to go off with a bang on this one. Third pick, Wendell, lame I hope you all out here, man. I hope you all here, uh, T-Wolf fans. Damian Lillard. There we go. And D-Lo. Yeah, that was the first one we picked here, guys. There we go. Okay, I'm sorry, Trailblazer fans. But you get the first pick in the draft, so it's not bad. All right. So, all the trades are done. The NBA is already looking crazy different out there. Next up, I am going to do the NBA draft off camera. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see what this draft's looking like. Okay, guys. So, we went through the NBA draft draft. And I actually do it myself. I let the computer go ahead and do it. I controlled the Clippers because they did not have a first-round pick. So, yeah, I had no say with who any of these teams got. So, we got James Wiseman to the Trailblazers. Makes sense after getting rid of Nurkic. Uh, although, you know, they literally just trade Damian Lillard away. But they got D'Lo out of it. So, they got D'Lo, CJ McCollum, and James Wiseman now. Anthony Edwards to the Rockets. You know, I did not know they had the second pick in the draft. And him with James Harden could be absolutely nasty. Pelicans got LaMelo Ball team with Lounge Ball. We got Obi Toppin to the Trailblazers. They had two uh, two top four picks. That's really damn nice there, guys. Here's everything else just so you guys can see it real quick here. I would say for the most part, all these teams should be uh, pretty damn happy about their selections. T-Wolves had the 19th and 20th pick there in the draft. All right, all right. So then you get down to some players that I don't personally really know too much about. But I'm sure they're great players, guys. I'm sure they're great players. Okay, I'm now going to go ahead and simulate... Because obviously, man, like, like that's why the uh, the first few picks, like, it wasn't that exciting. Because, like, you can get, like, the 27th pick, but it's good for, like, a 71 overall player. So, it's like, you're not going to go up to anything too crazy for that. All right, man, I'm now going to go ahead and simulate two at the beginning of the regular season. We're going to see what these final rosters are looking like. Okay, guys, so we are at the beginning of the regular season. I am actually going to be following the Portland Trailblazers for the simulation. Because, like, they had, like, the most, like, craziest changes of the team. You know, getting D'Lo at point guard. Uh, they got Obi Top and James Wiseman on the team. That's going to be interesting. I'm not going to go through every single NBA team because obviously, man, this video is already pretty long out there. But at the end of the season, I will go through all the player stats and I'll show you guys the rookie report so you can see how the new rookie did on your favorite basketball team, man. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and simulate this NBA season and see just how, you know, changed this league is. Okay, so apparently the uh, Portland Trailblazers made some bad choices, guys. 14 and 67. Uh, this team did atrocious. It's like one of the worst records in NBA history, right? Uh, finished with a probably an L against the Phoenix Suns. Yes, uh, we got A. Deegan MVP, James Wiseman. Hey, we got rookie on Portland, so we got that going for him at 14 and 68. Devontae Graham, 6 man, 80 defensive player. Chris Boucher, most improved. Billy Donovan, coach of the year. And there you have it, man. All NBA first, all NBA second, and all NBA third looking like that. We got the all defensive teams, then we got the all rookie team. So James Wiseman, LaMelo Bowl, uh, Anthony Edwards, Vernon Carey made it. Wow, that's pretty exciting. Or interesting not really exciting uh obi toppin so both of the portland trailblazers did make it uh, all nba second patrick williams on the bucks cole anthony on the heat killian hayes on the raptors that guy on the jazz and okongu on the orlando magic looking like he's gonna be the next dwight howard man uh probably not but maybe okay so this is what the playoffs are looking like let's go to the uh yeah player says like i said man I'm gonna go through this real quickly here um not a lot of the teams like their superstars did not really change because you know, obviously, there's rare cases where a superstar is going to be flipped for a, um, you know, for a draft pick. So, like I said, the, the, the big point of this was just kind of to see, like, some of the rookies that are not going to play for these other teams, you know, have a chance on these other teams and just kind of see what it'll look like and stuff. Like, Anthony Edwards, 16 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, playing for the uh, Houston Rockets. So, pretty cool to see, man. T-Wolves, we got 30 for Damian Lillard. That's awesome. Uh, hopefully they got themselves in the playoffs this time around let's go to the rookie report so you guys can see how all the rookies did we'll scroll down here kind of slow if you do want to pause in your favorite team feel free to do so yo is that terrence man is not a rookie is he i'm like a billion percent sure that guy is not a rookie i'm pretty sure i saw him play basketball this season uh yo some of these guys played like trash but you know it takes a little while to get into the rotation also windler is now a rookie good job 2k 
fantastic game, man. No, we probably didn't play at all last season in the simulation, so he's technically a rookie, I guess. Which is kind of stupid, like, it should be based off, like, when you um, are drafted, right? But, uh, did, wow, man, the T-Wolves still did not make the playoffs with Damian Lillard. Team's absolutely cursed. Let's go ahead and simulate these playoffs, see how it do, uh, see how it does out there, man. But hope you guys did all, did all enjoy this video. Um, I love doing different videos like this, especially around this time of year, man, because, like, 2K21 just around the corner. I know 2K20, man, like, I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are still uh, supporting the NBA 2K20 videos and stuff. But I know we're all waiting for that new game to come out. Although, I did try out the demo. No bueno, man. That shit was boring, guys. Oh, my God. It's literally, it's literally 2K20. It's literally 2K20, so I expect much more from my league mode. But, uh, you know, man, um, you know, once 2K, I'm, I'm still, like, doing, like, rebuilds and stuff in the meantime until 2K21 drops. But, uh, like, once 2K21 drops, I'm really going to get heavy into it again, man. You know, it's just because, like, teams are really going to be getting eliminated heavy in the playoffs and stuff. So, yeah, it should be fun. But we do have the Brooklyn to win the championship, guys. Um, yo, we got Iguodala leading the Thunder to the finals. See how we did in this closeout game here in the uh, Western Conference Finals. He had himself a solid zero points, man. Very nice. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, I did notice that the little random number generator, I don't think it actually showed the number. So, I imagine somebody's saying rigged in the uh, comments. It was not rigged. Peace out, my friends.